What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe and this is Hard Nussle Printing. Alright, so this is another sublimation quickie and in this video what we're going to be doing is sublimating a baby bottle. So if you guys are interested in these bottles right here, go to thevinylstand.com. There'll be a link down below. Click that link right there. It'll take you to the website. Just search for sublimation blanks and these will come up. So if you watched the last sublimation quickie video, we used the Sawgrass 800. We are going to be using the Sawgrass 800 again. This time what we're not going to be doing is we're not going to be using Creative Studio. The reason we're not going to be using Creative Studio is because Creative Studio does not have a template for this right here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I made a page six and a quarter by eight and a quarter uh, because this is actually six by eight so by me making it a little bit bigger i'll be able to make sure i get all the way around it and then all the way to the top and the bottom all right so for this video someone requested for something to be supplemented with cocoa melons so what better thing to do cocoa melon on than a baby bottle so again this is for demonstration purposes only what i'm going to do is i'm going to supplement this once i'm done with it we're going to display it in our store so that when someone comes in they don't just see this they'll see it actually supplemented it'll get their mind thinking of the different things that they could do uh, for these things right here all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you to the computer. I'm going to show you how I set up this little page right here. Once we do that, we'll drop the image on there. And then we're going to go ahead, turn on the convection oven, get it up to 400 degrees so that we will be able to supplement this right here. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so here's my template that we're going to be using. But to make this right here, you're going to come here to File, New. Once you open up a new one, you just come over here, change this to Inches. I changed it to Landscape. I changed it to 8.25 for the width, 6.25 for the height, and then 300 resolutions, and then just hit create. Once you create it, as you can see, we have both of our templates. Um, one of them is bigger than the other because one of them is just zoomed in more than the other. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is wherever you saved your image, you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab it and drop it into Photoshop. Once you have your image, Simply put it where you want and drop it. All right, so here's our image. I'm just going to come right here to the side. And I'm going to stretch it just a little bit so that I have no white showing. And once you got it set the way you want, you're going to come up here and hit the check mark. All right, so this thing is now ready to print. Like I said, we're going to be printing from here. So you can control P. It'll bring up your printers. All right, so whenever you click print and this comes up, make sure you come here and you click whatever printer you want to use. We're using the Sawgrass 800. Once you got it, just click it. And whenever you're ready to print, just click print. All right, so here we are with the Sawgrass 800. If you guys are interested in a true sublimation printer, go down below, there's a link to Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, once you get into Heat Transfer Warehouse, go under their sublimation tab. If you guys are interested in the 500 or the 1000, I don't believe they carry the 400 or the 800 at heat transfer warehouse anymore but they did come out with the new ones uh, they do now have the sawgrass 500 and the sawgrass 1000 and if you guys are interested in a true sublimation printer go down below click that link All right, so here's our image right here. Looks good. We're going to go ahead, we're going to cut this out, and then we're going to put it onto the bottle. All right, so here's our image right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you um, whenever I put it around this bottle right here, you can see that we have a good fit. We're going to go ahead and put some tape on here, and then put some shrink wrap on it, and then sublimate it. All right, so once you have your heat tape on there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it into a shrink wrap bag. Once you got it into the shrink wrap bag, you're gonna need a heat gun like this. All right, so if you do not have a mug press that is big enough to hold these right here, these tumblers, this is the next best thing is to get shrink wrap like this. We also carry this at the vinyl stand. Um, if you guys are interested in this, go down below Click that link and it'll take you to the vinyl stand to where you can order this. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to shrink wrap this around the tumbler. So I'm using a heat gun. 
Um, you can have it on high, you can have it on low. Um, once I start to put the heat on this, you're gonna see this thing start to shrink. What you don't wanna do is hold it in one place for too long because then you will make a hole inside of the shrink wrap. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so if you look on here, you can see that there's some lines in here, some rough spots. All you gotta do is hit it there a little bit longer and it'll take them out. All right, so there it is right there. You don't, whenever you're using the heat gun, you don't have to worry about if you're putting too much heat, if it's actually gonna supplement the tumbler, it won't do that. Um, it has to get up to 400 degrees for it to supplement. All right, so we do have a seam right here. This is the seam where whenever they create the bag um, that's how they put it together right so if you look at the rest of this so we're going to go ahead we're going to take this and put it into the convection oven all right so this is the convection oven that i use mm -hmm. if you guys are interested in this um oven go down below there'll be a link there where you guys can pick this up so okay. we're going to go ahead we're going to stick this in there and we're going to put this in there for five minutes all right so we got like three seconds left and we are good so we're going to stop this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take it out of here all right so we took it out of the oven there's two ways you could do this you could either let it sit here and cool off or you could take it to the water put it under some water once it cools down and then you could take off the plastic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to let it cool down and when it's done we'll be right back all right so once it cools down you're going to go ahead you're going to start to take off your plastic all right so there it is this actually looks really good all right so there's the design always with sublimation if you're not doing a true sublimation print that goes from one side to the other you will have this line just like that i'm not going to try to hide it from you and say that these mountains lined up perfectly but if the design was made for sublimation bottles it would um line up perfectly all right so now we're going to take this and we're gonna take our top and we're gonna put it together. And there it is. So this actually came out really, really good. This will be over at the vinyl stand if you're here local and you wanna actually see it um, for yourself, right? So there it is, looks really, really good. All right, so that's it. I just wanna take you guys through another sublimation video on how to do sublimation on a tumbler. So I did this 400 degrees in that convection oven for about four and a half minutes without the fan on i've had bad results when i turn the fan on um, i usually get something on one side that looks burned so without the fan on i don't have that constant um wind blowing at one side and making it brown so i left the fan off and with this one as you guys can see came out really good So I just want to take you guys through the process of this baby bottle sublimation tumbler. Again, if you guys are interested in the sawgrass printer, there's a link down below to Heat Transfer Warehouse. If you guys are interested in the sublimation baby bottle tumblers or the wraps, you can go to my website, thevinylstand.com. Once you get there, go to sublimation and you can find these blanks there. There's also going to be a link down below for the convection oven if you guys are interested in one of those also. So again, thank you guys for watching this sublimation quickie. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. And until next time, keep pressing.